Hey, what's happening, guys? Today, we're going to take a look at this kit from Mice Play. This is the Uno R3 High School Starter Kit. And they sent this out to us free of charge for our consideration so we can see uh, what they got here. So just a quick peruse here, you know. So let's see what's in the board or in the, in the box. We're starting off with a selection of resistors, which is always nice because you're going to get started playing with the Arduino and you and you don't already have, you know, a selection of various values of resistors. are going to be really useful. Ten ohms, not so much. Hundred ohms, meh. 220 definitely these are your perfect um, LED current limiting resistors for 5 volts same for 330 1k you're going to use a lot of 2k eh, 5k 10k you'll use a lot of 100k good and 1 meg so I would say about 50% of the resistors are values that you'll use a lot. All right, let's see what we got in here. A couple ICs that don't want to come out of this bag. There we go. Seventy-four HC five nine five. Those are what uh. Serial to parallel. I can't read that one. Need more light. Oh, okay. That is an L293D, which is what? Motor controller. So, a little more advanced than your basic starter stuff, but still not bad. A selection of five millimeter LEDs. This is the first uh, kit I've ever come across that has orange LEDs. That's pretty cool. Nine volt battery. This is your ultrasonic distance sensor. These are a lot of fun. This is a four digit by seven segment display. Very nice. Seven segment by one, also good. Little low voltage, uh, low power motor. Nice for playing around with. This is a mount for this. So that you can point it at things. Look at those. So we've got two of these. 10 millimeter RGB LEDs. They don't say whether they're common anode or common cathode. We can we can figure that out. And then we got a nice one. This 840 tie point breadboard. Nice little flathead screwdriver. These are male to female Dupont connectors. Female to female DuPont connectors. What I'm not seeing are male to male, but I think I think they're down below. All right, that's everything in this first tray. Let's see if we can uh, have a look in the second uh, level here. So these are 12 millimeter by 12 millimeter tactile switches. I'm not going to bother to take them out of the bag. You can see what they are very clearly. But this I am, because I'm not quite sure what it is. Although I believe it is a stepper motor controller. Dang. That's some serious plastic they got there. Sorry for all the crinkly noises. 
Yep, that is a stepper motor controller. So that tells me that there's probably one of them little pancake stepper motors in here. We'll, we'll find it. Okay, this is their Uno R3. Let's have a look. So it's using the SMD chip, which is fine. We got a little two pin um, external power in. That's nice. Oh, and it uses USB C. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Reset switch. Ground. VCC signal. Okay. So the way this is, we have our I.O. pins over here. And then they're doubled over here, which is really nice. So you can use that with the, uh, the DuPont cables. There's your RX and TX. There's your ICSP. There we go. SCSI data. There's an extra I squared C port. This is this is a really, really nicely done version of an Uno. Let me get a uh, more standard Uno. I think I might have one. Just kind of sitting here. Yeah, here we go. So like, there's your old style. Got the big old. USB B connector on there. And then we have this, which is you know 100% compatible electrically, size wise, but we've got these nice extra connectors on there. So that is a really nice bump in this kit. I like that a lot. We have a little fan blade that is for this here electric motor that was in the in the top thing there. Very nice. This is a 9 gram servo motor. These are really nice. Tower Pro. This is a uh, this is a name brand. So that's really nice. We got a couple of diodes. Let's see if it says what kind of diodes they are. Rectified. This says rectifier diodes. No problem. Uh, there is our pancake style stepper motor and that goes to this stepper motor driver here and they all go together really nice so here is our short male to male two point cables here is some like 3 8 inch clear plastic tubing interesting I've never seen that in an Arduino kit before. All right, here's a relay, a single relay. I'm glad to see this. A lot of kits don't include a single relay or they'll include, you know, a board that has like 10 of them on there. But having a single one is, is really nice for starting out with your Arduino type stuff. This is a uh, joystick type input controller. Come on out of there. So you can see how it hooks up here. All your pins, ground, 5 volt, VRX, VRY, and the switch because it, of course, is also clicky. Ah, this explains why we have the uh, 3 8 inch clear tubing. This is a pump. Which is another thing you don't see in a lot of Arduino kits. So that also is really cool. Here's a 9 volt battery adapter. Uh, Piezo sounders. Very nice. So here are a couple. Okay, here, there's all sorts of things in here. Alright, so let's open this up. So in here we have. They label this as a tilt sensor. We call, we call it a trembler. 
basically there's a spring in here on one side and a center contact on the other and as long as you have it relatively steady there's no contact but you know any sort of shaking or anything and uh it makes contact those are kind of interesting this is a temperature sensor and these are uh, light sensitive resistors another thing that uh very useful when playing around and then we have a usb cable uh, this is a little breadboard uh, power pack you see this is made to go directly onto a breadboard let me grab one here i'm not going to take the one out of the box but yeah you see this just clips on here and puts power into your power rails very nice this is the dht11 this is a temperature and humidity sensor This is another piezo sounder on a little board. This is a moisture sensor, like you put this down into dirt. These are a couple of transistors. Ah, PN2222, my favorites. NPN style general purpose transistors. This is a 16 by 2 LCD display with an I squared C backpack, so you don't have to wire up all 16 of those pins. couple of really nice potentiometers. Wow. Let's have a look here. This is definitely something you don't see in base level Arduino kits. Holy cow. How'd they get them in here? <laughs> yeah, look at that. Look at that. Those are really nice, especially... You know, those are 10K, yeah, B10Ks. And finally, we have an IR remote and an IR sender. How cool. And to top it off, it all comes in this really nice reusable box that even comes with, you know, nice little separators. Very, very cool. So again, this was from... Mice play the Uno R3 starter kit, and there you can see everything in there. There is the manual. Let me bring this up nice and close so you could scan that if you like. There we go. And now the real trick can I get everything back in the box? Good enough for government work anyway. That is a heck of a kit, and I forgot a couple things. So, so here it is on uh, Amazon, which is where they sent this to me from. Uh, it says Ickle here, but the box says Mice Play. Uno R3 Project Super Starter Kit with tutorial and Uno controller board compatible with Arduino IDE 44 items. Yes, there's a lot of stuff in this box, which, you know, we all just went through. And it is uh, $35.99. That is a pretty good deal for this much stuff. So I will put a link to this down below. And I'd like to thank Miceplay for sending this out for us to have a look at. And uh, hopefully it's something that, you know, one of you guys or more would be interested in. And if so... It's got my recommendation. I like it. So that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, again, please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to you guys for watching. Big thanks to Mice Play for sending. That's it. I'm out. Peace.